This lovely little drop called Prince Rupert's drop. Other names exist for it. Batavian tears, Dutch tears. These drops have been around for more than 400 years and they first evoke interest because of some of their very curious properties. You can take this nice little drop and hammer it on the head with a common hammer. You will find that that drop is perfectly resistant against a fracture. On the other hand, if you snip the tail off, this whole thing will shatter into powder with a little pop noise. These drops uh, were brought uh, around 1661 by Prince Rupert from Europe and given to King Charles II as a, some sort of a memento. He gave a couple of the drops that Rupert had brought to his scientists and asked them to study these and explain to him their curious properties. High-speed photography was critical for explaining the explosive disintegration. In terms of why they withstand hammer blows, that required measurement of the stresses in the drops. And making measurements in such in objects of such complicated geometry requires a special type of photoelasticity called integrated photoelasticity that was pioneered by Professor Hilar Aben in Tallinn in Estonia. The very strong nature of the drops in the head is due to the large compressive stresses. And these stresses are much higher than have been measured in other types of uh, glass blocks and glass plates and, and so on. All it requires is a glass rod of say leaded glass or soda lime glass, something with a high thermal expansion coefficient. So you heat the glass rod till uh, it melts and forms a little bubble and you let the bubble separate from the main rod and sort of cool in a beaker of water or a jar of water. The stresses that we measured are a consequence of the heating and the subsequent cooling of the drop in the water. That is what causes the stresses and it is also what causes the particular distribution of stresses which is compression on the surface and tension in the interior. Compression is good for as a means of resistance against cracking. Tension is bad because things fly apart when you pull them and pulling is tension. These glasses which are fracture resistant have found lots of applications. Now in cell phones and all the electronic devices that we carry around, they all owe their origin to this little fellow here, uh, the Rupert Drop. <laughs>